Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Tuesday, October 17th, and today we are in Galatians 3, verse 22. Um, yesterday, we went through a lot of really deep theology. Today, we're still in that deep theology. Galatians 3 is just full of it. So this is what Galatians 3 says. Galatians 3, 22 says, excuse me. But the scripture imprisoned everything under sin. What does that mean? Sin is being compared, it's an analogy, and it's being comp compared to being in a prison. It puts you in that prison because you no longer have the freedom of having that fellowship with God because he cannot be near sin. He is far too holy. Now, some people might make the argument of there, <clears throat> there isn't any sin in my life. Okay, challenge that person. Go a week with no sin, no sin whatsoever, using the law as that measuring tool and see where you are in a week. Because when we compare ourselves to what is in that law, it we're not going to be able to stand up. And if we're trying to earn that righteousness on our own, it puts us under that umbrella of the law. That's the only way we can achieve righteousness is to be sin free. And we will prove ourselves unable to do it. It says in, um, I believe it's in Romans, all fall short of the glory of God. All have sin in their lives. None of us is different. The only human being that has been sin free is Jesus Christ. And because of that, he was able to pay the price for our sin. Now, as we continue on in this verse, it says, so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given, be given to those who believe. Don't forget that first part. You're either choosing the prison of that sin or you're choosing the faith in Jesus Christ and accepting the promise that God has freely given to you. And through that, you have salvation. You have righteousness. It's given to those who believe. That's the only requirement to receive that promise. You have to believe. So as, we, as, we, as I scroll down through my notes, the only thing that can break you out of this prison, the only thing that gives you that jail out, get jail out of free card is that faith in Jesus Christ. That's the only way to get it. Now, one of the commentaries um, quoted Mo Morris, and Morris wrote, Far from being the gateway into a glorious liberty, it turns out to be a jailer shutting people up. The result is that the only way of escape was through faith. So what he's saying is this law did not give the glorious liberty that followers of Jesus Christ have. They didn't get that. Instead, the law became the prison. The law put them in that prison. And the only way out of that prison, the only way to have that freedom is your faith in Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.